What's going on guys, today we're gonna be showing you 10 free apps that you should try if you are a Windows 10 user. Believe me, you might find it really useful. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in number 1, we have Photoshop Express. It is sort of a scaled down version of a full fledged desktop Photoshop that you might used to be. But if you haven't tried your hands on one in the past and wanted to have a try on Photoshop, it's just the right app to start. Come on over, let's have a look. Starting is very easy, you can either pick an image from your computer library or you can just snap one right away. Either way, once you're here, you'll find all these tools on the left side to make your photos look professional. The very first tool here is called Looks, which will provide you with a wide range of filters to choose from. Just choose the look you want and play with the slider, which will give you the ability to control your favorite filter even more and bring the image to a point where it pleases you. Now let's have a look at the second feature. It is nothing but a crop tool. But once it's on the Photoshop Express app, it will provide even more flexibility with your crops that can bring the ability to crop your image with more ways within minimal efforts. Now let's talk about the next tool. It's called Correction. As you imagine it's deal with your image color correction, it can increase your image quality in many ways to make it look even more professional. For example, you can adjust your image light, which includes exposure, contrast, height, shadow, whites, blacks and so on, as well as light is just a single category on the correction tab, there are several others as well, which deals with your image color, effects, details, tones and so on. Play around with these and you'll be amazed. Now we have several other tools as well, which are Spot Heal, which helps you to remove blemishes, in other words, skin imperfections. Then we have Fix Red Eye, which can remove the red eye effects on the photos within just a click. And finally, we have Borders, which I'm not a great fan of, but I noticed they have some cool borders as well. If you are really into it, you might find it useful. As far as I can see, it has almost all the basic features of a desktop Photoshop and more. And the main point of getting this amazing little app from your App Store is simply because it's a heck of a lot easier, more user friendly and top of the mall, it's completely free. Now let's check out the other one. Coming in number 2, we have VLC. VLC has available as a desktop app for a long time. Since you're a Windows user, I'm pretty sure you have heard the name before. Even Windows has its own players like Windows Media Player and Movie and TV Player app, you might experience that it can handle all the media formats out there. In the other hand, VLC earned its reputation of being able to play any media you threw in, be it a video or audio regardless of any format. It even supports subtitles. Since VLC made its way to Microsoft Store, it's really worth to have the app, so you can enjoy your movies and videos in a modern and more polished way. Coming in number 3, we have Ear Trumpet. Ear Trumpet is another great app which allows you to control or change the volume of individual programs running on your Windows 10. And hear how it works. Just get the app, launch it, now you will see nothing. Don't worry, just go to your hidden icons on the taskbar and there you will find a similar icon to your volume controller icon. Click on it and there you go. It is the Ear Trumpet running in background, it designed to blend in with your Windows 10 interface. So it will just work like a default feature on your Windows 10. As you can see, now you can control any individual program volume here. If it's running live on your computer, you will see the individual volume controller for the particular program here on Ear Trumpet. Also, you can control your main system volume on the top like you used to be. If you want a more easier way to access, I can even recommend you to switch it with your default volume controller on your taskbar so that you can access it directly from your taskbar without even going to the hidden icons. It feels just like your default system volume controller and it will start automatically when you start your computer so you don't have to launch the app every time Windows starts. Now let's check out the next one. Coming in number 4, we have Grammarly. Grammarly is a great way to make your daily life a lot easier. We are all humans and we all make mistakes, which means some of us are keep making mistakes on a daily basis. And if it's while you're writing something on your computer, no matter whatever you write, or whichever program you're using it on. It can easily be fixed with Grammarly. Install Grammarly, it's an Edge extension and you will get it from your Microsoft Store. So we are considering it as an app and that's why we are putting it on the list. Anyway, I know some of you are rarely or not at all use the Edge browser. Don't worry, it's still great to watch the Grammarly part and to get to know the value of the program. Because it's also available for all the major browsers including Chrome and Firefox as an extension and available for Windows itself to serve you in many Windows programs 
such as Microsoft Office. You can check out the Grammarly website to know more about the availability. So let's have a look and see what it can do for you. For example, if you're sending an important mail to your professor or for a company job request, it is really painful to send away with a mistake. But with Grammarly, you can fix the mistake with a couple of clicks. It's not just a tool to autocorrect the spelling mistakes in your writings. It can even correct and suggest you about complex grammatical errors. To show you the most out of it, I will write something short with a bunch of mistakes just to demonstrate how much help it can bring to you. Now you can see it's underlining some mistakes as I'm writing, so it's easy to find where the mistakes are. Now once you finish writing, you can click on all the underlined words or sentences and see what mistakes did you make to them. Also it can be fixed with just a click like this. It will not only point out the word spelling mistakes, it can even detect an unclear sentence structure or as silly as a punctuation error. As well as it can be used in many other situations in your daily life, for example, correcting your typing on a Facebook post, tweeting at Twitter, commenting for someone's video, for example, mine, you name it, Grammarly is there. Believe me, it will make your internet life a lot easier. Coming in number 5, we have WinDynamic Desktop. WinDynamic Desktop is an amazing feature that will bring the macOS feature Moja to Windows 10. And guess what? It works pretty good. Before talking further, let me just show you how to set it up and how it works. After you launch the WinDynamic Desktop, it will ask you for your location, try to check the box, use Windows Location Service, and click on OK, which will bring you to the Windows Location Service settings, scroll down and allow location access for the app, and close it. Now check the box, use Windows Location Service, click on OK, and there we go. Now you will see the Select Theme box, from here you can use your own wallpaper by importing files. Or let's just go with the default Moja Desktop theme like Apple Max. Now click on OK and it will run the app in background, minimize your system tray. So I think we set it up once and for all. Now let me tell you what it's for. As you know, the app will run in the background and it's accessing your location information. It can determine the exact time of your sunrise and sunset. It will change your Windows 10 wallpaper according to the time. For example, in the night, it will turn the wallpaper kind of dark more. Like you can see, now the desert is showing like it's on moon glow. But on the daytime, you will see a sunny desert. It may be silly, but believe me, it can bring great advantage to your daily routine. For example, it's producing low brightness image in the nighttime, so your eyes feel less stressed in the nighttime. It will help you to concentrate on your work, and also it will help you to go to sleep without any distractions. And on daytime, your wallpaper will change to a much brighter one, so your computer wallpaper is more visible in the daytime. Hope you got the point, and that's pretty much it. Coming in number 6, we have Exodo PDF. Exodo PDF is another PDF reader, and it all comes with total free of cost. Come on over, let's have a quick peek on the Exodo PDF reader, come editor. As you can see, I have opened a regular PDF file to demonstrate. As far as I'm concerned, editing is easy with Exodo PDF. Just click on this edit icon and you will see a wide range of tools just to edit your PDF. Let me just show you some of them real quick. First we have the oval tool which will let you draw oval shaped objects onto your PDF. And of course you can control the color and size option for every option here. Next we have square which is also another tool for draw. It can draw squares in your preferred size and color, as I told you earlier. Then we have line tool for drawing lines. Then we have arrows, which can be used to draw arrows to your PDF document. And then we have the marker, which can be used as a text marker. Then we have eraser tool to erase any mistake that we have drawn. Then we have the ink tool, which can be used to draw or write notes to the PDF. Then we have signature tool to add your signature to the PDF. Then we have stamp tool which allows you to add pictures from your computer to the PDF. Then we have squiggly which can be used to underline a text using squiggle line. Then we have strikeout tool which can be used to format a word or sentence. Then we have underline tool to underline text. Then we have highlight tool which can be used to highlight any particular word or sentence as you wish. And finally we have sticky tool. It's a tool which helps you to add quick notes to anywhere onto your PDF. And that's it, that's all the basic you can expect from an Exodo PDF reader. And guess what? It's all free. Coming in number 7, we have Crystal Disk Mark. Crystal Disk Mark is a great storage benchmarking tool that can be used to determine your hard disk or solid state drive read and write speed. 
which will be very handy if you have installed something like a new SSD and this tool can be used to know how much better it performs compared to an old HDD. Or think if you bought a new pen drive, you can test the speed of that pen drive. You can do a lot of things like that. If you're interested to do this kind of things, it will be very useful. Anyway, let me just show you a quick peek at the Crystal Disk Mark app. For example, I'm going to check my newly installed SSD speed. It is a Samsung 860 Pro SSD and I have set it as my D drive. So let's choose D drive from here. Now choose the file size you want it to be tested with. Now choose the text count, let's leave it by the default and click on all which will start the test immediately. It can test your drive sequential and random read and write speeds with various options. Coming in number 8, we have WhatsApp Desktop. You might heard about the WhatsApp web before, which is a website that you can access from your computer browsers and you can use your actual smartphone WhatsApp by syncing them using a QR code scan. Yes, the WhatsApp desktop is a lot similar and created by the same official WhatsApp team for the Microsoft Store, but instead of going through your browser and doing all the syncing process each and every time, here it's all a one-time process. Just install and launch WhatsApp desktop app from your Microsoft Store and open up your WhatsApp on your mobile device, go to WhatsApp menu and choose the option WhatsApp Web. Now scan the QR code shown on the WhatsApp desktop using your mobile camera. And there we go, it's just synchronized your smartphone WhatsApp to your desktop WhatsApp client app. And here you can use all your WhatsApp features and functionalities normally with an advantage of viewing your content on a huge display as well as using those physical buttons on your keyboard to chat which will give you a great experience over your tiny touchscreen keyboards. Believe me, nothing better can replace this WhatsApp experience. For even more easy accessibility, I recommend you to pin the WhatsApp desktop app to your taskbar. This WhatsApp won't disconnect until you go offline on your WhatsApp mobile, so keep connect. Coming in number 9, we have Plex. It is one of my most favorite apps when it comes to free media streaming. It has all the look for a modern streaming website like Netflix, but guess what? It's free. The Plex app will work with the free Plex media server installed on your computer. Plex can organize all your media files on your computer, which includes video, music, photos, and top of them all, all the downloaded movies and TV shows. Also, Plex is available in Android, iOS, as well as on all the popular streaming devices such as Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Android TV, and much more. So you can enjoy your favorite downloaded movies and TV shows from your computer in a wide range of devices and operating systems. Plex will auto-scan your directory once you added the folder location where you kept your movies and TV shows and will automatically find and add all the appropriate cover, artworks and description for them. To get the free server and know more about Plex, you can visit their official website which is Plex.tv. To be frank, I have been using Plex since ever I found it and it is outstanding. Coming in number 10, we have Total PC Cleaner. There are a lot of fake PC cleaners out there. Instead of speeding up your PC, those programs will do the vice versa. But the Todd PC Cleaner is a genuine one and it is from the Microsoft Store. It can clean your PC and make it faster. And let me show you how it works. When you launch the Todd PC Cleaner for the first time, it will ask you to confirm your system disk. So click on continue and choose your system disk which is normally would be your C drive or more clearly saying the system disk is the partition where you install your windows operating system so choose it. You have to only complete this option for the very first time. From now on whenever you launch your total PC cleaner you will directly see this window. As you can see it has bunch of options you can choose from and to know which options can clean what you can hover your mouse over this icon which is situated beside every options. So click on the start scan and it will search and find every unwanted files on your system disk and once you finish it is up to you to decide whether to keep or clean a particular file type. I don't mind cleaning everything so let's just go with the default and click on clean. And there we go it has finished the cleaning process and you can see it's free up a certain amount of disk space. I recommend you to run this tool weekly and hope your computer will stay clean and healthy. Thank you so much for watching, hit like if you do, subs if you loud, press the bell icon to get notified about our new videos and if you found this video worth sharing, why not share it with your friends as well, it would be a great thing to do. It's me your host Summer Rafi, see you soon with another one, have a nice day.